assalamu alaikum everyone today is uh, i will be giving lecture on pharmacology that will be lecture number 9 10 endocytosis and exocytosis a few substances are so large or implement that they can enter cells only by endocytosis the process by which the substance is bound at a cell surface receptor engulfed by the cell membrane and carried into the cell by pinching of the newly formed vesicle inside the membrane the substance can then be uh, released inside the cytosol by breakdown of the vesicle membrane this process is responsible for the transport of vitamin b12 complex with the binding protein intrinsic factor across the wall of the gut into the blood similarly iron is transported into the hemoglobin synthesizing red blood cells precursors in association with the protein transferrin specific receptors for the transport proteins must be present for this process to work endocytosis and exocytosis the reverse exocytosis is responsible for the secretion of many substances from cells for example many uh, neurotransmitters substances are stored in membrane bound vesicles in nerve ending to protect them from metabolic destruction in the cytoplasm appropriate activation of the nerve ending causes vision of the storage vesicle with a cell membrane and expulsion of its content into the extracellular space ionization of weak acids and weak bases the henderson hasselberg equation the electrostatic charge of ionized molecule attract water dipoles and result in a polar relatively water soluble and lipid insoluble complex because lipid diffusion depends on relatively high lipid solubility ionization of drugs may markedly reduce their ability to permeate membranes a very large percentage of the drugs in use are weak acids or weak bases for drugs a weak acid is best defined as a neutral molecule that can reversibly dissociate into an ion a negatively charged molecule and a proton and a hydrogen ion note that the protonated form of a weak acid is a neutral more lipid soluble form whereas the non unprotonated form of a weak base is a neutral form the law of the mass action requires that these reactions move to the left in an acid environment low ph excess protein protons available and to the right in an alkaline environment this equation applies to both acidic and basic drugs inspection confirms that the lower the ph relative to the pk a greater will be the fraction of the drug in the protonated form because the uncharged form in the more lipid soluble more of a weak acid will be the lipid soluble form at acid ph where whereas more of the basic drug will be in the lipid soluble form at alkaline ph application of this principle is made in the manipulation of the drug excretion by the kidney almost all drugs are filtered at the glomerulus if a drug is is in lipid soluble form during its passage down the renal tubule a significant fraction will be reabsorbed by simple passive diffusion if the goal is to accelerate excretion of the drug for example in the case of drug overdose it is important to prevent its reabsorption from the tubule this can often be accomplished by adjusting urine ph to make certain that most of the drugs is in a honest state as a result of this partitioning uh, effect the drug is trapped in the urine thus weak acids are usually excreted faster in the alkaline urine weak bases are usually excreted faster in acidic urine other body fluids in which ph differences from the blood ph may cause trapping or reabsorption are the content of the stomach and the small intestine breast milk aqueous humor and the vaginal and prostatic excretions large number of drugs are weak bases most of the bases are amine containing molecules the nitrogen of the neutral amine uh, has three atoms associated with it plus a pair of unshared electrons the three atoms may consist of an uh, carbon the two hydrogens two carbons and one hydrogen or three carbon atoms at the three amine each of these three forms may re reversibly bind a proton with unshared electrons some drugs have a fourth carbon nitrogen bond these are 
quaternary amines however the quaternary amines is permanently charged and has no no unshared electron which to reversibly bind a proton therefore primary secondary and tertiary amines may undergo reversible protonation and vary vary their lipid solubility with ph but quaternary amines are always in the poorly lipid soluble charged form thank you very much inshallah i will be delivering more lectures on pharmacology